Biden minimizes the significance of his remarks on Xi as China threatens consequences. Even as the Chinese government threatened consequences for the statements, U.S. President Joe Biden minimized the significance of his comparison of his Chinese counterpart Xi Jinping to a despot. At a news conference on Thursday, Biden dismissed worries that the relationship between the United States and China was deteriorating as hysteria and added, I don't think it's had any real consequence. The U.S. president implied that Xi would not temper his comments going forward and stated that he anticipated to meet with him soon. Biden declared, I'm just not going to change very much the idea of me picking and choosing and avoiding saying what I think is realities with regard to the relationship with China. He made his remarks the day after Chinese ambassador to the U.S. Xi Jinping made serious representations and strong protests to senior officials of the White House and the U.S. Department of State on June 21 regarding Biden's remarks, which the Chinese embassy called a smear that seriously contradicts basic facts, breaches diplomatic etiquette, infringes on China's political dignity, runs counter to the commitments made by the U.S. side, and undermines mutual trust. We implore the U.S. side to act swiftly and seriously to reverse the detrimental effects and uphold its own obligations. Otherwise, it will be responsible for all the repercussions, the embassy said in a statement on Thursday. Speaking at a fundraiser in California earlier this week, Biden compared the Chinese leader to a dictator, and claimed Xi was embarrassed because he was unaware of the spy balloon that transited the U.S. earlier this year. The reason why Xi Jinping got very upset in terms of when I shot that balloon down with two boxcars full of spy equipment in it is he didn't know it was there. No, I'm serious. That's what's a great embarrassment for dictators, when they didn't know what happened, Biden said. The U.S. president's comments came mere days after U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken was in Beijing for meetings with key officials, including Xi. Biden on Thursday described the visit by his top diplomat as a great trip. At the conclusion of that trip, Blinken said the U.S. and China had made progress towards steering relations back on track as both sides agreed on the need to stabilize the bilateral relationship between the two superpowers. It was clear coming in that the relationship was at a point of instability, Blinken said at a news conference in the Chinese capital Monday and both sides recognize the need to work to stabilize it. We're not going to have success on every issue between us on any given day, but in a whole variety of areas, on the terms that we set for this trip, we have made progress and we are moving forward," he added. Now, it appears that Biden's comments could undermine the progress that was made by the top U.S. diplomat. The nature and impact are very negative, the Chinese embassy statement said. The Chinese government and people feel deeply affronted and firmly oppose it. President Biden said explicitly before that the United States respects China's system, does not seek to change it and has no intention for a new Cold War, it said. But with the latest irresponsible remarks about China's political system and top leader, people cannot help but question the sincerity of the U.S. side. The Chinese government and people do not accept any political provocation against China's top leader and will resolutely respond," the statement said. On Wednesday, the U.S. State Department sought to downplay the potential impact of Biden's comments, with State Department Deputy Spokesperson Vedant Patel saying the remarks had absolutely not at all diminished the progress. It should come as no surprise, of course, that we have differences and disagreements with the PRC. And the president believes that diplomacy, including this recent trip undertaken by the secretary, is a responsible way to manage tensions, clear up misperceptions, avoid miscalculations, 